Hello students, you're welcome to today's class. Today we are going to talk about scale drawing. So we are going to start by listing the objectives for today's lesson. The number one is what is scale drawing and the second is how to use scale drawing to solve real life problems. So a drawing that shows a real object with accurate sizes reduced or enlarged by a certain amount is called scale drawing. So the scale is shown as the length in the drawing, then the colon, then the matching length on the real ten. For example, this drawing over here has a scale of 1 is to 10. So anything drawn with a size of 1 would have a size of 10 in the real world. So a, so a measurement of 150 millimeter on the drawing would be what? 1500 millimeter on the real horse. So now we're moving to how to calculate what scale drawing to solve real life problem. You take a look and about one question says suppose the problem tells you that the length of a vehicle is drawn to scale then the scale of the drawing is 1 is to 20. If the length of the drawing of the vehicle on paper is 12 inches how long is the vehicle in real life? So for us to do this, we first of all set up a proportion that will look like this. Then a scale drawing proportion is always length of drawing all over real length. When we are talking about the length of drawing, we are talking about the representation on the paper. So here you can see that the length on the the length of drawing was said to be what 12 inches. So we are going to substitute the value along the line. So, which is equal to, this one is called the scale of the drawing, which was given to us in the ratio of what 1 is to 20. So, it's as good as saying 1 over 20 or 1 to 20. So, this is the representation over here. So, here we cross multiply. That means we are going to cross multiply from here. That is this. This is cross multiplying. We multiply the length of the drawing with 20 and the real length with 1. So when we do that, we have this, which is equal to length of drawing times 20, which is equal to real length times 1. So since length of the drawing is equal to 12, like you see over here, it was given. Then we have this 20, which is the scale ratio that was given, times 12, the given length of the real drawing. And the given length of the drawing, not the real drawing actually, so which is equal to 12. Then we have the 12 times 20, which is equal to real length times 1. Hence, 12 times 20 is going to give us 40 inches, which is equal to what the real length. Hence, we say that the real length of the vehicle is 240 inches. So here we have the example 2, the scale drawing of the tree is 1 is to 500 so if the height of the tree on paper is 20 like you can see over here the height is 20 then the height on paper not the real height so here we are to solve this particular problem set up so we are going to set up the proportion like this that is height of the drawing over real height so which is equal to the scale the scale, the scale of the drawing, which is 1 is to 500. Then we do the cross multiply like we've done before. That means height of drawing times 500 equals to the real height, which is multiplied by 1. We are having it over here. So recall that the height of drawing that was, was given to be 20. So here we are going to multiply that. 500 with 20 which is the actual height of the drawing so which is equal to the real height times 1 then 20 times 500 is going to give us 10,000 inches which is equal to what the real height hence the real height here is what 10,000 inches imagine representing a tree of length 10,000 on a piece of paper only God knows how many pieces of paper you are going to join together to make that diagram complete so in summary scale drawing is a drawing where the dimensions are proportional to the actual size of the object being drawn in a predetermined ratio 
in plain english we can say a scout drawing is a drawing which has been reduced or enlarged from its original size to a specified scale so i believe this is clear enough for you to understand what a scale drawing is and also what is a scale factor it's true we don't actually make use of this word but it's very important for this particular topic so a scale factor is the ratio of the length of a side of one figure to the length of the corresponding side of the other figure so assignment please answer the questions below and to have a nice day thank you and god bless you Bye.